rest of the story. The little boy wasn't really disturbing the class. In fact, some of the classmates may have asked him to sing. But anyway, Mrs. Grimes, the fifth grade teacher at Lawn Elementary School, could not help overhearing as the ten-year-old softly began the classic Red Foley country ballad, Old Shep. Now, under any other circumstances, Olita Grimes would have called the class to order and proceeded with the day's lessons. But not today. There was something in that sweet young soprano voice that made her want to listen along with the rest of the class, and she did. She even joined in the applause when the little boy had finished. After school, as the other children were leaving, Olita called him to her desk, asked if he could please stay a little longer and do something for her. We're going to the principal's office, she told him. And there, as teacher and pupil stood before Principal J.D. Cole, the former said, Sir, I want you to hear something. And then Olita turned to the little boy, urging him to sing as he had for the class. And he did. And Principal Cole agreed. This gifted youngster must enter in the annual talent contest of the State Fair and Dairy Show. And thus began a rather remarkable singing career. But I dare you to guess the rest of the story. The day of the contest, Olita Grimes and her young protege drove to the fairgrounds. The autumn air crackled with excitement. The contest, they were told, would be broadcast over radio station WELO. Talented folks of all ages and descriptions would compete. A little girl named Shirley Galantine sang, My dreams are getting better all the time. Olita's pupil would be next. And as he had that day in school, he would sing the familiar ballad, Old Shep. So small. He had to stand on a chair to reach the microphone. He sang without accompaniment. But wow, what a voice. And when he was through, the crowd, amazed, erupted with cheers. Back home, the little boy's daddy, listening on the radio, dissolved into proud tears. And that, I want you to know, is how it all began. October 3, 1945 at the Mississippi-Alabama Fair and Dairy Show. For the pure boy soprano voice would mature into something not only distinctive, but something unique in the world of song, something now recognized and imitated everywhere, even these long years since that voice fell silent. For once upon a time... A youngster from Lawn Elementary School in East Tupelo, Mississippi, climbed up on a chair to reach a microphone and into the hearts of his home folks and then went on to win second prize. Second prize. That's right, little Shirley Galantine singing My Dreams Are Getting Better All the Time. She won the first prize at the Fair and Dairy Show Talent Contest. She won the first prize and was never heard from again. Even though fair and square, she had vanquished the heir apparent to the throne of American popular music, the princeling who was to become the king, Elvis Presley. Now you know the rest of the story.